my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and I am a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I am on the WW Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Today I have an amazing grocery haul for you. Tons of new food finds, I'm so excited. I visited Walmart because as you know, last time I was there I was quite impressed with their overall selection. So I stopped through Walmart Trader Joe's per the usual and also my natural food store for some cottage cheese and found a couple of new food finds there as well. So I have lots of good stuff to share with you. If you're new to my channel, I'd love it if you'd stick around, hit the little subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're notified whenever new videos are uploaded. I do a grocery haul every single Saturday so you don't wanna miss out. Give this video a thumbs up if you love grocery hauls and make sure you're checking out the description box down below for my nutrition coaching website. Let me help you reach your weight loss, your health goals, your nutrition goals. There's a little bit of something for everyone including macro and calorie calculation, one-on-one -on -one coaching, group support, you name it, it's available to you. So let me help you again reach whatever health goals you have. Also in the description box you'll find links discount codes to all of my very favorite things and the link to head over and join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you join that amazing community over there of 17,000 members strong. It is supportive and loving and we'd love to have you take part in that group as well. So without further ado, we have a grocery haul with a ton of new food finds. So let's jump in. So here is my grocery haul for the week. I have a big haul for you. Tons and tons of new food finds. Once again, Walmart did not disappoint. I have Walmart, Trader Joe's, and then I also went to Natural Grocers, which is like our Sprouts or Whole Foods, to pick up basically my cottage cheese. I found a couple other great things and I grabbed some things for an upcoming video that I'm super excited about. So let's jump in to this week's grocery haul. I've never had the AHA water and mainly I bought this for our celebration of life for my mother-in-law on Saturday and then I figured whatever wasn't taken or consumed at the celebration of life, I would have it for myself. So this is the AHA in the orange and grapefruit and then I also picked up the Waterloo in coconut. That way we have a couple of options for sparkling water for the celebration of life. And then a repeat purchase because I love them are the Stone Fire non crisps and garlic and cheese. These are so good. I have only ever seen these at Walmart. If you can find these, get your hands on them. They also have a sea salt, which I haven't tried, but these are incredible. They're so good in hummus and dip. Amazing. And then this is something new that I saw at Walmart for the holidays. This is Elma's sugar cookie mix in orange. So the mix itself is orange, so it's going to make super cute fall or Halloween cookies. So I kind of have a few recipe ideas up my sleeve for that. So I picked that up. Some tortillas, my Olay Extreme Wellness. They did not have the La Tortilla Factory ones or I would have gotten those, but this will work. And then the La Banderitas for my husband. He likes to make his own little quesadillas and things. So I always like to have tortillas on hand and we were completely out. Picked up my 99% ground turkey at Walmart. Best price, about $4 a pound. And this one was $3.98, so I guess $4.50 a pound. So I picked up two, I'm just gonna pop them in the freezer. I'm completely out of 99% ground turkey, so I needed to restock. This is a new find for me. This is the Hope Hummus in Black Garlic. I've never had this kind. This hummus is the best. The ingredients are extremely clean and you can actually have three tablespoons for two points instead of two tablespoons. And I'm out of hummus. And again, I like to have hummus with these crackers because it's so good. So I'm excited about that. And then this is another new find. This is from Natural Grocers. This is the Honest Stand Garlic Parm Style Dip. Now I have picked up their queso in the past or their cheese dip, which was delicious, but I wanted another dip for veggies and those crackers. So I picked that up. I'm hoping that it's good. It looks good. And then I needed Parmesan cheese. So I just grabbed the shredded parm at Walmart. Here's another new find for me. And I have heard about this on Bobby's channel at Flav City, Mulk. So Mulk is a very high quality coffee creamer and milk alternative. And this was on sale at Natural Grocers. So I had to get it because look at the flavor maple organic pecan milk so i don't know the points i am going to go ahead and put those here on the screen for you but it's 140 calories for a cup 
but I thought this would be really good in coffee, but also in smoothies and give it that kind of fall flavor, that fall vibe. So I am super excited to try this. It has incredible ingredients. So I'll let you guys know how I like it. And then I needed some more ketchup. So I decided this time to pick up the Tesemme's organic ketchup. So this has really, really good ingredients. It is 15 calories per tablespoon and it is sweetened with dates, which is amazing. So no added sugar, no sugar alcohols, no artificial sugar. So excited for this. And I did find that at Walmart. And then I picked up some roasted red peppers and these are just in water. So these are zero points. I do not count points for these because there's no added oil or anything in those. Another new find at Walmart. I actually saw this last time I was there and didn't grab it. So this time I decided to try it. This is the Noka nut butter smoothie in strawberry. So basically this is a peanut butter smoothie. So this would be great on the go pre or post workout. It has eight grams of plant-based protein. It is 170 calories. So there's fruit, plant protein, nut butter, and no sugar added. So I thought this would be nice to just have on hand. I am actually headed to San Diego here in a couple weeks, and I thought that this would be a great thing to take on the plane so that I make good food choices when I'm traveling. So I picked that up. Also, I finally got my hands on the chocolate salted caramel flavor of the lilies. They did not have the pumpkin spice. I was so bummed out, but I did grab the chocolate salted caramel. So now I have all three to bake my little heart out. By the way, these are really good in oatmeal. Just saying, especially nice warm oatmeal. They get a little melty. Delicious. And then I needed chicken broth. So I just grabbed the great value organic low sodium chicken broth. Great price for organic everything at Walmart. So I love that. I was completely out of yogurt, so I decided to grab the Oikos Triple Zero. It just sounded really good, just a change of pace from my Siggies. I grabbed three, chocolate, I also picked up a banana and a coconut cream. So that'll be nice to have on hand for yogurt. I am also completely out of yogurt. So it was like a use it up challenge last week unintentionally. We are pretty much out of a lot of our staples. My husband wanted roast beef and pastrami for his sandwiches this week, so I grabbed a pound of each in the deli. I will say that the lunch meat in the deli at Walmart is much more affordable than anywhere else. It was a great price, about $10 a pound, which is excellent for roast beef and then beef pastrami. Lots of cheeses. I needed Velveeta shreds for a dinner recipe. My normal Trader Joe's three cheese blend, the light. I love this cheese. And then Troy asked for provolone cheese on his sandwiches because that pairs really nicely with ro roast beef and pastrami. So I picked that up for him. New find at Trader Joe's, and this is brand new in, the apple cider fruit spread. Doesn't that sound amazing? So I thought this would be really good on toast, give you kind of apple cider and fall. I'm excited for that, so I picked that up. I was completely out of onion salt, and you guys know that I put this on my eggs, so I had to pick that up. Some canned goods, I needed a can of corn, and unfortunately they didn't have any organic, so I just grabbed that one. But I did pick up organic tomato sauce for a recipe and organic dark red kidney beans for a recipe. And fruit snacks, just so you guys know, these are actually WW friendly. So if you like fruit snacks, this is a great choice. These are his favorite brand, so I picked those up. And then I took a little stroll down the Halloween aisle, and you guys know that every year I generally buy these little pre-portioned Halloween snacks. Well, none of them really interested me this year, either ingredient-wise or they just didn't sound good, but I really love these Utz Bats and Jacks. There is just something about these pretzels that is so good. So I picked these up. Troy loves these as well, so I'll pop these in his lunch. And these are only one smart point per pack. They're so cute. A restock of my favorite eggs. This is the one reason I would go to Walmart. No kidding. These eggs are incredible and I cannot find them anywhere else. So I am so excited that Walmart carries the 18 pack. So I grabbed those. Frozen mashed potatoes from Trader Joe's. You guys know how much we love these. I am making meatloaf this next week. So this is going to pair really well and it is so simple and absolutely delicious. And then the star of the show from Natural Grocers is not one not two, not three, but four containers of Good Culture Cottage Cheese. I have been out of cottage cheese for an entire week and I'm panicking. This is my favorite high protein, low calorie, delicious snack. So I stocked up. These are good through mid-October, so I will definitely get them eaten by then. And they were on sale, so 
total win-win. And then I did pick up three bottles of kombucha at Walmart. I still have uh, the big bottle in one bottle at home. So this will make it through the week for me. The golden pineapple is absolutely incredible. So I picked up two of those. And then the 25th anniversary one is really good as well. These are a couple of my favorites. So I grabbed those. Everything else I have for you is produce. So lots of frozen veggies because we were completely out. So I have a California blend. And then I decided to buy these steamable butternut squash. I actually bought two because I need butternut squash for a recipe. I hate cutting it up. And the packs at Trader Joe's are great. They just don't last very long. So I thought that this would be perfect because I can just steam them up when I'm ready to use them. So I picked up two bags. I went to Trader Joe's for organic broccoli florets. They didn't even have organic. So I should have just got them at Walmart, but I did pick up just the regular broccoli at Trader Joe's. I have a big bag of apples. These are tart Granny Smith apples for a recipe. Wait till you guys see meal prep on Monday. So excited. Probably my last watermelon of the season, which makes me a little sad, but I love fall. So I guess it's kind of a double-edged sword. I love my watermelon, but I love fall. So I had to pick one up just as a last goodbye to summer. A bag of little organic mini medley potatoes. This is for a recipe. I was completely out of onion, so this is my favorite. I show these all the time. These are the organic sweet onions from Trader Joe's. They are so good. I love the size of them, so I picked up a bag of those. Some Brussels sprouts, which is for a recipe. Of course, per the usual, a bag of my organic lemons for water. A big sweet potato, also for a recipe. And last but not least, a pack of tricolor bell peppers. I needed three peppers this week, and this was perfect. So. That is this week's grocery haul, my friends. Quite a bit, lots of new food finds. Let's take a look at meal plan and the exciting meal prep you'll be seeing on Monday. So here is this week's meal plan. This is the week of September 19th through the 25th. So today, Saturday, we are out to dinner. It's my mother-in-law's celebration of life, so we're gonna have a late lunch, early dinner. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be doing harvest chicken sheet pan dinner. We're gonna bring in some fall vibes. Stay tuned for this recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Monday is broccoli cheddar soup. I'm starting to feel soups and chilies and all things hearty, so I'm gonna do some soup for Monday. Tuesday is always a leftovers night because it's a jazzercise night. Wednesday, I'm doing a beef noodle skillet dinner. As you know, I always like to incorporate a pasta dish once a week, so that is this week's. And then Thursday, again, with the coziness, I'm gonna be doing a meatloaf and mashed potatoes, those delicious frozen ones from Trader Joe's. They're so easy and so good. And then Friday is leftovers, so we can eat up any of the leftovers from earlier in the week. So let's take a look at meal prep that you will be seeing on Monday. So this is my plan for meal prep. I made luncheon breakfast backwards. So lunch is actually breakfast. So for breakfast this week, I'm going to be doing a breakfast hash. So definitely stay tuned for that on Monday. It's going to be delicious. Lunch is actually a quinoa casserole. Again, this is a very different recipe, but a very hearty, good for you, low point recipe. So stay tuned for that. And then for a dessert this week, I'm going to be making copycat Cracker Barrel fried apples. The fried apples are one of my favorite things at Cracker Barrel. So I'm gonna duplicate those WW style. So stay tuned on Monday for all three of these recipes. Thank you for joining me on this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my new food finds and I gave you a little bit inspiration for what to pick up the next time that you're at the grocery store. Meal plan and meal prep sounds amazing. Stay tuned for meal prep on Monday and I will be featuring some of these recipes in upcoming videos that were on my meal plan. So definitely make sure that you are subscribed and your notification bell is turned on because you don't want to miss any of those videos. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed this week's grocery haul. And down in the description box again, you'll find my nutrition coaching website. I'd love to help you reach your goals, my Facebook group, and my discount codes and links to my favorite things. So spend a little time down in that description box. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Happy Saturday, friends, and I'll see you next time. Bye.